Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mountain and Nostalgic Runner. And we are back again for a Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the 30 day yoga challenge. Um, it's not too late to get started on it. Um, I have it, you know, in the um, playlist. So you can go ahead and get started with that. Um, if you like what I'm doing there, you can go directly to the main channel that, um, you know, yoga with Adrian has going on for that. Um, <clears throat> but overall, it was a good challenge. But today, we're not here for that. We're actually back to our regularly scheduled program. And we are doing, we're going to be doing a review, doing the routine, doing the review of one of the yoga instructors that I haven't done the routine of. And I would say almost two, three months. And that is Kendra Kohlberg, um, also known as Life Fertile. Um, and um, <clears throat> anyway, she is someone who is caters to, because um, she's outside of her being a yoga instructor, she's also a nutritionist and she also catered towards women's health, particularly ferti fertility health. And this is going to be a seven minute yoga for fertility, simple yoga, simple yoga. So, um, or simple fertile, um, simply fertile is what it's called stumbling on words. But, um, with it being said, it's only gonna be seven minutes. So it's gonna be nice, quick and easy, simple routine. So if you're, I would highly recommend doing this on day where <clears throat> you're already doing a rest day. So it's not much of a stress to do. And, uh, anyway, Without further ado, let's get into the routine. And after we do the routine, we'll review it. Yeah. So in today's practice, we are going to start um, it being on all fours in a tabletop position. Um, from then, we're going to do um, our cat and cows, nice and slow, nice and deliberate. And this is seven minutes, so there's not going to be a lot going on with this practice. We're also going to have a child's pose in here. We also will have... Um, uh, yoga squat in here. Um, I don't believe we have any type of standing with this practice at all today, but that's pretty much going to be most of what happens here and a lot of stretching. And we also do, are going to do um, a puppy posture, not quite, but like a modified version of it. And yeah, that is pretty much a practice. It's very nice and sweet. It is exactly seven minutes, so there's that.
Hi, so that does conclude the practice for today. And it was, it was actually perfect because I just got done running. And um, so I needed that. Um, one of the things though towards the end, even though all the poses were pretty gentle poses, um, the last pose kind of, I felt it because for those who've checked out some of my other Get Fit With Me series accountability, particularly the one on Monday, y'all know that my ankles have been giving me a little bit of issues lately. Um, the flow was not flowing as I wanted to, and also to, you know, getting older. But anyway, so that's not what we're talking about. Um, how I rated, I would give it um, a nine. It was good. It was good. Um, I felt very relaxed. It got me um, woo sighing out. And she actually recommends that you, you know, try this for seven days, kind of make it a daily practice, this particular routine. Since it's only seven minutes, seven minutes a day isn't too bad, right? Especially if you're just getting started. Um, I, I also would, and she says to kind of start your day, but for me, I actually liked it to close my day. Um, I would prefer using it for that, especially since I did literally just use it as kind of like a recovery stretch a little bit for after running. It was a good way to get my heart rate back down, wind things down, um, and <clears throat> kind of get back into my body and, um, you know, end the day. Because <laughs> um, for those who don't know, I lately have been running in the evenings because work has been working. But anyway... <laughs> That's not why we're here, I. but it was a great routine overall. I would definitely check it out. I will put the link um, at the beginning for you to check it out of the video so you can go directly to the video and check it out. Um, actually, no, 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 I'm gonna put it at the end. I'll put it at the end, you know, so you can you know, go directly to the video if you liked what you saw here, and then you can do the practice yourself and then check out her channel, especially if, besides that. So anyway, that does um, conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.